So let's talk about what lenses you can use for this focus stacking or focus bracketing. Well, first off, if we're talking about macro, we have the 60 millimeter macro lens. It focuses to one to one. It's very small and it works perfectly for this. Micro four thirds, any lens is basically double its, its actual focal length when we think of it in the equivalent of a full frame DSLR. So the 60 millimeter, think of it as a 120 millimeter macro lens. So here'd be one choice. Olympus also makes a 30 millimeter, think of 60 millimeter, that is a pretty peculiar front to it, very small front element here. But this one will focus all the way down to uh, a magnification ratio of the equivalent of two and a half times life size. So we're talking about if you had a, a, a medium-sized house spider, a grass spider, wolf spider, something like that, it would more than fill a frame. In fact, you wouldn't get the whole thing in. Now, you could also use a 7 to 14, which would be a 14 to 28 millimeter lens. And with this, at 7 millimeters, you're going to be about that far, that far away from your subject. But because it's seven millimeters or 14, the angle of view will be very, very broad. So you'll have a, uh, a lot of landscape or background, and this could really give a good sense of place. So it's not a bad choice there if you're talking about subjects that aren't going to bite you or hop away or fly away or something like that, because obviously you're going to be very close if you're using this at the seven millimeter setting. Well, skipping on to the next lens, one of my all-time favorite lenses for general photography is the 12 to 100, 24 to 200 equivalent. And this lens focuses to, I think, about that far away. Well, when we're going through the things, we'll, we'll show it. But um, the trick to this is at 12 millimeters, your minimum focus is a lot closer than it is when you go to 100. And people get confused with that at times because they, um, at one point, they may be at 12 millimeters and they can focus this far away. And then they, they zoom in later on, maybe a, a whole different day. And it's like, wow, I can't get this in focus. Well, the focus does change as you get closer. I'm a little curious right now. So let's, let's put it at 12 millimeters and turn it on. And I'm in focus right there. So we were talking about that far away again. Now, that closeness, again, you're not going to be able to shoot skittish butterflies or spiders or dangerous rattlesnakes and copperheads or frogs that are going to hop away. But if you want a wide angle of view, this would be great. And if you wanted a narrow angle of view, you could zoom to the 200 position, 100 millimeter lens here and you'll have a much more narrow angle of view. You'll have less background. So this is another great choice. And uh, uh, this would be the, the lens that if you're just going to be going into the Olympus system, I would certainly buy this lens just flat out as part of your kit.